here's quite literally my newest edition. This is a brand new clock. This isn't where I'm going to be keeping it. I'm going to put it upstairs in my computer room. But this is a Hermley Ravensburg. Here's my certificate of uh, authenticity, I guess. Hermley Clock Factory. Yeah, pretty cool. And there's the um, Black Forest Clockmaker. And there's Rolf Hermley's signature. So that's pretty cool. So this clock is an 8-day time-only passive strike wall clock. So passive strike means that every hour this clock will ring a little bell. And there you can view the hammer which the clock uses to accomplish this. I'll bring the minute hand to the top of the hour. See that hammer's lifting up. And it's spring-loaded so when it passes a certain point, that being 60, It drops and uh, the hammer hits the bell. I chose the model without the brass highlights here because I don't like them being enunciated. I like this very subtle, um, just this black finish around the dial. I'll do the passive strike one more time for you. It sounds just like my AMS. Okay, well, the Hermley's a little lower pitched, but you get the idea. Here's your look at the back. There is the hole for the nail that you hang it on. There's the pendulum rod and the suspension spring. And the suspension spring is actually nicely protected by this. Uh, I think that's a piece of plastic. And there's the... Hermley deadbeat escapement. I have these same exact palettes on my um, trend wall clock. I'm very surprised to see taper pins. That's extremely unusual for a new clock. I just thought it'd be worth pointing out because that's usually uh, considered um, obsolete. I'm counting four wheels here, plus two for the motion work there. So, six wheels in total in this movement. Very small, but very well built, considering it will run for eight days, and it still has a chain length shorter than the, um, weird regula movement that's in my AMS. When I had this hung up on the wall, the chain was actually at a very nice length for the hanger being this high up on the wall. Which is something that surprised me. Before I show you where I'm going to put it, uh, I'm going to let you see how it's packaged. So, I just wanted to show you what you get when you open these brand new. So... Here's the certificate. There's the Black Forest Clockmaker. Franz Hamlet und Sohn. And there's Rolf Hermley's signature. There's a 24 month warranty effective as of the date of purchase. So that's nice. You get a little instruction sheet here. They just tell you how, the, how all this stuff works in German and English, which people apparently don't know how to read because people are returning this clock because it won't keep time, and then right here in the instructions it's telling you how to regulate it. But, you know, people are dumb, so. So the pendulum is here. This is the whole assembly itself, the clock. There's the chain. 
and I presume that this is the weight. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this all out. Pendulum comes out first. There's the nice shiny bob. They zip tie the crap out of these things so that the chain doesn't get all screwed up here, which is pretty nice of them. The whole unit can slide out of this bag once the zip ties are undone. And here is the good old Hermley skeleton movement. And there is the passive strike mechanism, which goes up to this hammer, and there's the bell. And here is the weight. The weight just comes undone like so. There it is. This thing's cold from being outside, and it's a hefty weight. I have a computer set up here, and... This is where I'm going to be keeping it. By the time I get this to where I need to get it, it's going to be 4, what is that, 48. So I'll let you hear the passive strike over and over again. And there we go. 448. So now the next step, unlike all the Amazon reviewers um, can't figure out how to do, is to regulate it. Oh my goodness, that dog is going freaking crazy on that squeaky toy. Anyway, my mom suggested with a gift card I got from my grandparents that I give myself something to enjoy up here while I'm away from my room. So that's what I did. And that's pretty much all, so I'll catch you later.